Saturdays with Sean. Saturdays with Sean. It's Saturdays with Sean. It's Saturdays with Sean. It's Saturdays with Sean. Brought to you by the letter H. Thanks to Greg for that wonderful introduction. He is my BFF forever. Well, this week's topic is friends, and I'm assuming that I'm talking about my friends and how they've dealt with me being trans. And well, I have to say that for the most part, it's been positive because the ones that don't want to deal with me, they just like walk away and it's like whatever and I don't care too much. But as for my friends, they are super. Let's start off with Greg. You are awesome and I love you. I've been best friends with him since 7th grade. We knew each other since kindergarten, but we never talked until 7th grade. And once that happened, it was like, wow, awesomeness. And in 7th grade, I had come out to him as being bisexual and he was totally cool with it like it didn't make too much a difference it, it was kind of something we brought up because I was like dealing with it then and I had my own issues and it just kind of opened this whole new world and like whoa and then we had a friend we still have a friend actually named Chris Carujo and he loves roller coasters and we've been best three best friends since seventh grade and well, Chris, he never really cared too much about the whole bisexual thing. It was just like a whatever thing, and it didn't really bother our friendship too much at all. It didn't bother our friendship at all. It didn't matter, because we were best friends. I keep saying this a lot, because we're friends and we're awesome. But, um, <laughs> when in high school, I made a friend named Jay, and... She is a trans girl, and she helped me out with me figuring out my being trans and the whole social transition, and I guess dressing up as well. And I have to thank her for that, because if not for her, I probably would not be Sean the dude right now. And I've kind of always known it inside, but it probably wouldn't have been brought out if not for her <laughs> and her openness about being trans and making me question my life. So, thank you, Jay. Then, after that, well, I came out to quite a few people, a lot of people actually, and I lost some friends here and there. Like, it became awkward and it just kind of drifted. And then another one of my friends, Karina, we had met on this student ambassador trip to Japan and we were totally awesome and she was fine with me being bi, but she didn't know how to feel about me being trans and she was just kind of like iffy about it, but she came to kind of accept it and, and now she is majoring in sociology, I believe, and she is taking all of these gender classes and, and all of this stuff and I'm just like mind blown because it's like a major change from back then and I am so proud of you, Karina. I love you. I love you. Give you a hug. Then, well, when I came out to Greg, he was kind of like, what? what is this? Because he didn't understand the whole trans thing, so I kind of had to explain it all, and I showed him videos and whatnot, and just told him how I felt, and he accepted it. He was cool. It took him a while to adjust to the whole he thing, and Sean's a dude thing, and Sean dresses up as a doody dude dude now, but... He got it, and sometimes he still slips up a bit, but 
it's like, it's like whatever, I know he doesn't mean to, and he's totally cool about it. Then, for Chris Carujo, who I only came out to, like, a summer ago, he's like, it's the same thing with the me coming out as bi. He doesn't really care, but I'm not sure if he totally, totally understands, because he still kind of refers to me as she, but it's like, eh, what can you do? I love the kid. Then, well, who else do I want to discuss? Diana. She is my friendly friend, elephant friend, and we were going out my senior year, and we were really involved, I suppose, in each other's lives, since we were both friends with Jay, and Diana had dealt with Jay, and then she had to deal with me, and safe to say, uh, she was really, like, supportive about it, like, if anyone had um, misgendered me, she'd be kind of like, grrr, <laughs> Wow, yeah, she was really great, and I still love her. And I'm gonna give her a big hug for for all of that stuff she had to go through with me, because that is not easy. And I was kind of a jerk, and I'm going to be honest, yeah, I was a jerk. But thank you, thank you for being there, and I am still there for you. Then who else? Who else? Pat, 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 pat. There's my friend Sophia. And we had only really become friends like after my senior year, our senior year. Through the whole K pop thing. K -pop, pop, pop, pop. Well, Sophia's awesome. She's involved with her school's LGBTQ alliance. And last year she had told me that she was in charge of. Transgender section, section, <laughs> section for her alliance, and I was just like, "Oh, <laughs> like that's awesome!" And I was just like super proud and like, "Oh, you're so cool, Sophia. You're so cool. I love you too. And I love all of you." And, uh, yeah, honestly, all my friends, they're they're really cool with me being trans, and they're accepting and supportive. And I love them, and uh, I am going to say. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm gonna get off track here and just start like ranting all bubbly like about my friends if I keep going. But let me tell you, I really like Gur and the No Me No, and they're so cute. And I wish Invader Zim would come back because it's such a show. See, I just like rambled off into Invader Zim world and oh, but I guess this is trans related as well. I got this pendant this week and I was happy about it. And hmm, whew, I mean all my friends. Love you all. Fan friends. Steven's friends. Sam! Sam, yeah. You had to deal with me all freshman year and you're probably still gonna have to deal with me for the next three years and you have to deal with all my, like, Sean-ness. But Sam, you're awesome and thank you for dealing me, dealing with me throughout freshman year. You're, you're great, man. I love you. Then my friend Kyle, who has to deal with me and my, my silliness and my silly shotness and he's cool too yeah college i can't wait two weeks three weeks oh my god school's coming no but i also want to thank my tumblr followers because they are awesome and great and they're like a family too and Oh, I love them and I love my friends and my friends and you guys on this channel and I don't know where you all went 
but I hope you're having a good time doing whatever you're doing because I miss you guys and <laughs> I miss you guys come back please um but yeah whoever's watching this make sure you watch the other dudes videos because they're totally cool too but but I really hope they all come back because I miss their videos and it makes me sad not seeing a video throughout the week but friends are good to have. Always keep your friends close. Get your enemies closer. <laughs> well, that's it. I hit like the 10 minute mark already and I think it's time to go. I might get my conch pierced. But we'll see about that. No one should know that. Except for my friends. And I hope none of my family <laughs> watches this, but they would only watch it if I put it on the Facebook. Anyways, I'm going too far into this whole rambling process, but... Oh, puppy, I love you too, and you're awesome, and you have to deal with my crap too. You're awesome. All of my friends are awesome, period. Done. Any questions, comments, or concerns, or anger, or sadness, hit me up down there, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube, comments, whatever you want. Subscribe to Trans Bros TV because we're awesome!